Hey guys, welcome to the Daily Smash for Monday, May 1st, 2023. I'm Rick. I'm Kelly. It's May Day. I May Day, to... May Day. I need this right now. Oh God. So this is just... the uh, Robo Red. Robo Red. Ilya Wine. And uh, you know, guys know that I like uh, red before bed. Because uh, red helps me fall asleep. Uh, and I like it. Ilya Wine is a proud what? sponsor I mean, of the Daily Smash. A little bit of cheese. A little bit of fat. You can go to Ilya.com and get yours for 10% off the already very reasonable prices. I want to cheers my wife. Here at Pickleball Party Town, we had a tremendous weekend. Really fun. We're here in between tenants. Well, cheers. I, I just want to tell them what just uh, happened. Yeah, we're right going to right tell them what just happened right after we cheers. That's why I was saying Mayday, Mayday. I know. This is why I'm saying I need wine right now. I'm mm -hmm. all stressed out. Jolie and uh, her boyfriend, Max, just came home. They wrecked the golf cart. Wrecked the golf cart. Almost flipped it. He got, he's badly hurt. He's, he, I guess he fell out and scraped his leg on the street, like a big road burn on his leg, on his calf. And they broke the windshield on the cart, scraped up the side, but, I mean, they're fine besides his And I knew, injury. I knew not to let them go at night. I knew it. Well, actually, it wasn't night when they left. Yeah, it was, it was dusk, I thought, I, maybe? Thought, I thought they were going to go take a little ride around. They've been gone for, a, what? Over an hour, I'd say. Maybe. Is it, is it nine? A couple hours, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a couple hours. Yeah. So, they had this mishap. And I just texted him, Max, do you have the light on? Get back now. And he comes in and... I said, how's it going? And Jolie goes, no bueno. I was like, why? What happened? And then she goes, oh, looks down. And it's like bad, like a, this big road scar. And I act like he's my kid. I go, get in the shower right now. <laughs> get in the shower right now. And then we, we broke out the first aid kit. And it turns out there's no tape in there to put the bandage, attach the bandage. Well, I don't want, you know, I don't. We got to dress that wound. <sighs> I need to go get some Neosporin now. And I have my PJs on. I was ready right oh. for, before bed. I was going to talk to it. you guys. And I'll handle it. Is Rite Aid even open right now? It's pretty closed now. Um, there's a Walgreens. I think one of them is open 24 hours. Oh, okay. Maybe the Walgreens is open. Um, okay. Well, <laughs> it could have been a lot worse. You know, I had a girlfriend, Alana... She was in Costa Rica, and they were drunk, and they were, like, screwing around, and they're going up and down really fast on the things. On a golf cart? Yeah. And they rolled it. She broke her foot and smashed it in, like, so many pieces, and then the, the girl got, like, brain surgery. Like, bad. Like, like... Whacked her head on the... Bad. Yeah. Like, ro they rolled. Like, I mean, it was... Golf carts can be very, very dangerous. They're not... But she said they weren't joyriding. Julie said that they were going on a roundabout. He didn't see it and was on two things. I, how did he fall out is what I want to know. I mean, listen, you, you have to be going really fast and, and turn a wheel pretty hard to turn it on its side like that. We've never come close to doing that. No. And we ride all over the neighborhood. Yeah. That's some kid stuff right there, like goofing off, going too fast. Listen, I mean, I, I, I'm making Julie pay for that. Or him, one of the two. They're going to have to work out together to make... I'm making them pay for our new thing. We need a new windshield. Yeah. By the way, this Robo Red is really good. It is. Here, it's try, really try good. Try it with a little piece of cheese. Oh. Like that. Uh -huh. And coat your mouth. And then... Oh, my gosh. Wow. I'm just glad they're, they're not hurt. But you know what? Me kid, too. It's kid stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he That's feels what... bad. And she feels bad. Yeah. So, there was an earthquake... Here in the desert this weekend. No, this morning. It was just after midnight. And Kelly's like, did you feel it? I'm like, that was no earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there was. It was several quakes measuring over four in magnitude, which is not a big earthquake, but it's enough. They, apparently, you could feel it in Palm Desert. I think we were already asleep at 12.09 p.m. Mm -hmm. after midnight. I think we were already asleep. Um... That was early Sunday morning. 
It said you could, the shock waves could be felt for many miles. 4.5 magnitude quake. But look at right there. It's like Indio in Palm Desert. See, yep. That's where we're at, at right now. And it has a little star. It's, you can read it, Palm Desert. It's like mid midway between Palm Desert and the Mexican border okay, by so the Salton Sea. I'm a story. Oh, okay. So I moved to San Francisco in 2004. And I, I am at Macy's in Union Square. And all of a sudden, I, you know, I was just, you know, shopping. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I feel this. Whoa. I go like that. <laughs> really? Yeah. And at first, I thought, was, is there something wrong with me? I thought my equilibrium was, like, at first, I felt like, like something, like, in my, in my body did that. Like, like I yeah. couldn't control myself. Uh -huh. It was the weirdest then when I did that, the lady looked at me, and like, and every you hear everybody going, earthquake. <laughs> it was like a six point oh whatever, whatever it was, and I was shaking. I bet. And so yeah, it was. It was. I mean, well, everyone's calling each other. Did you feel that? Did you feel that? In 1994, when the Northridge quake happened in L.A., I was working at WFLD in Chicago, and they sent me to California to cover the aftermath of the earthquake. And the next day we were on some guy's front yard, his chimney had collapsed. So we just pulled him and we go, oh, let's go talk to that guy. He was like cleaning up in his yard. And as I'm interviewing him, I go, have you felt any aftershocks? And as soon as I said the word aftershock, we felt a, a six point something aftershock. And I always describe it as like a giant bowling ball rolling under our feet. Mm -hmm. Like the ground, like you were saying, like the ground just felt shaky. It was like, whoa. And I was like, wow, that was cool. And the guy goes, don't say that. Yeah. You can't say it was cool. Right. Because earthquakes are really bad, like dangerous and kill people and all that. Anyway. Uh, I'll never forget. I'm Rick, I go, Rick, you got to be careful. It's earthquake season. He goes, <laughs> really? And I go, I'm just kidding, dude. <laughs> She's very funny. You, you get me. She'll get me. <laughs> How about... I, that was hilarious. Yeah, that was a good one. How about the, you know, she always will scare me. Like, she'll come out of nowhere and just yell right behind me and make me jump. And I'm like, oh, God. And I'm like grabbing my chest like I'm going to have a heart attack. So I'm like, I'm going to get her back because she got me the other day. So she was in the garage where our laundry is located now in the, at the beach. And I knew she was in there. So I, like, creep up and open the door and I go, hey. And I yell at her. And she screamed at the top of I, her lungs. I did. I was like, yeah. And she goes, why would you do that? I go, you do it to me all the time. Yeah, but because well, there's like, you know, it's like there's there's some riffraff at the beach. You know what I mean? It's kind of scary a little bit. I'm not going to lie. It was, yeah. But I like it. It's not like so vanilla. Oh, my God. Know? I love living at the beach. Me I love too. it. Almost as love, much as I love Pickleball Party Town. We had like 25 people here today. Yeah. On this this Sunday. We're recording this Sunday we had night. more. It could have been more than in my thirty. Because we had some people coming in and out. People came and went. It was hundred and two degrees here today, hundred and two. But we were in the pool. We were playing ping pong. Where I was grilling in the hundred. I don't know if I've ever grilled in hundred and two degree heat before. Because <laughs> you're from the <laughs> East Coast. Hot. I'm breathing that smoke. Did you ever get a hundred and two in in the uh, Hamptons? Uh -huh. No. I mean, maybe on a rare, rare occasion. Well, I remember I played tennis with Ramona. In the Hamptons with her right before I met you. Yeah. And I thought I was going to, like, die. Because of the humidity. The humidity. Like this. <laughs> so here, I want to show this video of uh, the food. Because we had a hell of a spread. No. There's the salmon and the meat and the hot dogs and burgers. And there's pasta salad. I don't know. Does anyone eat burgers? I cook those burgers. I mean, we could seat twenty people in that in this room. It's kind that of that awesome. girl right there with the um that cowboy hat. That's Donald Don't act like Kleiner's you're grilling, wife. You know I was doing a grilling. Don't act like you're grilling, you know I'm <laughs> yeah. Don't act like you're grilling. No, I was getting the peppers. No, I know. I don't even know why I said that. Uh -huh. I, I had a couple of tequilas, and then uh, okay, so there's that video, and then there was another one. Oh, do you want to show the video of you with Hope, and she had this system of doing a shot what was that it's called uh i called it she's 
AstraZeneca. That's what I thought she said. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. It's but was something. it salt and coffee? No, it's 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 stevia. So it's usually oh steve mm. stevia stevia stevia. I'll show you. So she got this kind of coffee. Is. Um, so they had, she had these two dishes and one had the, I guess it was like a sugar substitute. And then the other one had the coffee ground, grounds on, on it. And then, oh, that, and then, uh, the lime. So here, here's Kelly's shot. Let me, let me push record. Okay. What is this no, thing called? AstraZeneca? And Astronautica, because it sends you to the moon. Okay. All right. So you have your wet limes. Oh, yeah. A little, we don't do a sugar, we do stevia. Yeah. 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 A little dab of coffee. You do a shot, it tastes like cake. Really? Yeah. All right. All right. You take a shot. Do a shot. Right? Got you, Mikey. Okay. Got you a couple, but. Sugar side. Where's the coffee? Oh, it's on the lemon or lime or whatever the fuck it is. It was a lime. Yeah, yeah baby. It tastes great. It tastes like a cake. Woo! Where is it? She's all there. It's like a cake. Now you look like you were about to throw up. Well, what happened? It did taste.